All right, y'all, coming to you live from Kim Fest 2017. We got my man, a legend right here. Reintroduce yourself to the people. Andre Betts, you know, dreadlocks, black watch, jihad AD. All right, so last time I say you, it's been over a year that we really got to do an interview. What's been new with the line? Man, you know, I put out like three different dreadlock books since then. Uh, we have Shadow the Jackal 1, 2, and 3. Which, as a matter of fact, I can show you uh, the we are right here. That's number two. Number That's two. a more recent book I just put out. This right. is a follow up to uh, the Shadow the Jackal right here. Then we got the uh, more recent book. This one. Nice. Right. And of course, you know, we got Jihad AD, which is my classic right here. Yeah, Jihad AD is definitely flavor. This is the latest of Jihad AD piece right here. Okay. It's called The Cave. Right now, what I'm doing, uh, I'm getting a lot of books back off right now. I'm getting a lot of stuff to copy. I'm trying to get out and do several different shows and show support. So most of the black events or whatever. And I do other events as well. And that way I can keep my name on. You know what I mean? Well, you definitely got a name out because Heritage Hip Hop supports Dreadlocks. And Black Watch is definitely a favorite of mine. So what was the um, what was the inspiration to bring comedic forces into the superhero genre? Real good question. Uh, basically, before I got into creating my own comics, I was already reading stories or uh, reading up on the mythology of Kemet. What I was studying, like Ma Nefron, I was part of the Asar Society. And I've always thought in my head, you know, that they had a lot of different characters out here in the Marvel DC universe. And they kind of like were copying off what we were doing as far as what we were doing in our past. And I thought it would be a good idea to add a lot of our philosophy and our mythology into our own characters. So that's why I decided to create the Dreadlock so I could add our own mythology within my universe because I've already been studying up on Kim. You know what's deep to me? You know what one of my first comic iterations of Kemet was? Was the issue of Thor where they had Jehovah, God, Jesus, Allah, um, Thor, Odin, and all the gods sitting at a round table discussing humanity. And I thought that really took away from the divinity and the spirituality of the character. So how do you capture the divinity and spirituality of the character and the characters in your true art form. That's real good because we've been practicing for three years. <laughs> but they even say the way I capture it, like I say, like I say, I'm deep into meditation, things of that nature. So, you know, I've been studying, you know, comedic wisdom mysteries since 1992. Oh, yeah, you so got years in. Said, this, this is prior to me getting into the world of and your question as it relates to having poor to over Jesus all these around this round table, you didn't mention any of the comedic gods at this table. Well, Osiris was the only one that was yeah, represented. Greek name. A exactly. So they probably depicted him as Osiris. But see, I'm coming with that in from an African perspective okay. of what it actually is. Osiris, Osir, Heru, uh, Tehuti, Hathor, you know, Heru. These are the names that I'm bringing for you, whatever. So I think when we add that in, into the fold, it helps in, in the sense of spiritual development. Because just like, you know, chakras, things of that nature, each aspect of the cosmic forces is what you add into your meditation to take you into another level. That's right. Standing of your true self. And you and I both know that your true self is who God is. That's right. You reach your, your, your true self, then you reach your true spirituality. So I felt that adding that into my character's right line, it will be easier to kind of like explain it to say the youth or whatever. Because most, most adults are already going off in prison. Right. Already been going in prison a long time. So they accept it, you know, Christianity. And they're still there. Whereas if you give them something else to read and give them a better understanding of spiritual development, how to actually develop spirituality, not just the book of people and saying this is what you need in your life and this will make you uh, more with the creator. That's not the case. I like that answer. So then, 
Let's spin it this way because I'm a fan of the line. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the line. You got dreadlocks at the top, and you have the black wash team, and there's Raheem here. And you have a rendition of the Punisher, but he's roster. And I like that because it deals more with life and integrity as well as the warfare that he's into. So I want to spin it this way. With your creation of these characters, and you even going and doing your own dreadlocks animated cartoon, where do you see the kemetic side of power, spirituality, and godliness coming into the entertainment field? With well, entertainment field as a whole, I don't see it because we just see it. Well, I didn't see it, but they just put out a big last year called Nas to Meet You. So, with that being said, they're never going to plan on putting us out there where we're supposed to be it. But it would take people like myself and other individuals out here that are familiar with the knowledge, whatever, they can try to bring it to the forefront. But as far as, like I said, the entertainment industry as a whole, we see they attempted it, that joke of the movie, God's Beach. Yeah. I bet the hottest thing in the movie was the bird, and I couldn't bring myself to watch it because I was disgusted. But it's, it's, it's free now, and I still have to watch it. Yeah. Oh, that, that bird. That bird turned me, the bird was the hottest thing, because the bird was like a transformer. <laughs> and that's my thing. But you know what? I'm feeling that. And here's the last thing I want to ask, besides your social media. Even the things that we watch in the 80s are now taking spiritual tones. Transformers are going into gods and she goddesses now. We have, um, He-Man had a religion into it. It's sorcery. And even the Thundercats had a mysticism in it that came from spirituality and finding your place within the world. Where do you think, if not even Kemetic, where do you think spirituality is going to find its place within the either comic book or sci-fi media? Well, it's already found its place there. Think of the matter, the only way you can actually create a, a, a good storyline is basing it off of mythology. And a lot of mythology, you know, is based on different cultures. Or a lot of the different stories that are out here now, including in here, whatever you say here, there's a lot of mythology behind each story. Whether it's Kemeti, whether it's, you know, Yorba, whether it's Asgardian, which I'm not down seriously finding any of that in here. You know, it comes to us. Needless to say, they all have their form of mythology. And I tell you, they knew this a long time ago when they invaded the lands of Kemeti. Of course. When they invaded. You know, I keep a lot a long time ago. They already knew that this existed. They had no mythology. Their mythology was stolen from Greek philosophy. We know that. They took that, and all of a sudden, they came up with all these different mythology, spiritual, spirituality, things that they did. But once again, spirituality is never really going to find its way into uh, the industry as far as entertainment is concerned. Because a lot of people tend to separate. They don't know anything about spirituality, but for the most part, so they still try to add spirituality into a man or whatever, make it seem like you have to go to this man in order for you to be free. Right. As long as we still have that mindset like that, it'll never be in the industry. Well, there y'all go, ladies and gentlemen. When you talk to Andre Bat and Urban Style Comics, uh, uh, they got dreadlock t-shirt right there. Popartgear.com. All right, popartgear.com. When you come to Urban Style Comics, don't come just expecting a book. Expecting to get some spiritual edification and some enlightenment too. So tell them how to get in touch with Urban Style Comics real fast. That's UrbanStyleComics.com. I'll say it again, UrbanStyleComics.com. Or you can face me, Facebook me on uh, Facebook, Andre Madden's on Urban Style Comics. All right, y'all. So if you like comic books and you all about learning that good new stuff, thank me later because it's a classic. All right, peace.